Hey, what's up guys? Dennis Relapse here, and I'm going to be explaining some new things that we added onto the SLB ranks. If you guys haven't uh, checked out the ranks, uh, there's a new layout for them. Okay, and uh, some of the new things that we added on, as I was saying, are going to be must played by. So, this is if a team challenges uh, a certain team, we're going to add that up there, and we're going to give them three days to do that uh, clan match. So, you know, if you're ever wanting to play a team and you're an actual team and we verify that you're an actual team and you ask a team to play you, we will uh, put a must play by date. And if you guys do not play by then, then the team that does not play will get suspended or something will happen where they get a strike or something we uh, haven't decided yet. Okay, and strikes are going to be... Um, Pretty much if a team gets caught cheating or uh, if a team gets caught double rostering, we're going to give them a strike. If a team accumulates three strikes, we're going to suspend them for a certain period, period of time where uh, they will get taken off the ranks until that time. And um, active is going to be, it's going to be uh, just showing how active teams are. So let's say, for example, if EF plays vague, then we're going to put the exact date that they play. Like say today, then we'll put March 1st and uh, say they don't play a clan match for you know a long time that uh, March 1st is gonna stay on active until they do another clan match so that's just gonna show how active teams are and if you um, if you don't do a match in a week and you're a top team you're gonna get bumped down or if you ignore other teams that are ranked asking you for a clan match you're gonna get bumped down okay where it says team records what's uh, short REC S so for what's that gonna be is uh, for the top 10 teams it's gonna be blanked out but uh, for number 11 and up what it's going to be is it's going to be um, how active, you, or not active, but how uh, many wins and losses that you have. Uh, you must have proof for this. So say um, the number 11 team, I don't know who they are, but say the number 11 team wins six times and they lose to one team. We're, they're going to be six and one. The only way that will reset your record is if your team gets suspended or if you uh, go inactive and your team is on break. When you come back, your record will reset. Uh, back to zero and zero if you went on break and you came back or if you know if you got suspended and you come back and lastly we're gonna be talking about top team records it's gonna be the same exact thing but it's only gonna be for top 10 teams this one's gonna be a little more complicated because the only way they could get a win or a loss is if they uh, either lose or if they win against another top 10 team and if they get bumped down to the number 11 and up spots then their record will be taken off and it will be reset if they go back in the top 10 teams so this is just meant for the top 10 teams just to see how well you do versus top 10 teams and if you go on break or if your team is suspended remember it will reset the um the record or if you get bumped down to the top 11 and up teams you your record will reset and you will begin with your regular record that's pretty much it guys, uh, this has been NS Relapse, remember we're going to be doing a lot more updates, this is just some of the cool things that we're adding on to make it more fun, we're going to be doing uh, some new uh, events that we're going to be explaining in another video that's going to be uploaded in the next day or two, and that's it guys, anyways have a wonderful day, peace.